Hi everyone, I just thought I would film my June favourites. So we'll kick off with a start because I don't want to do a massive long intro. And the first thing I'm loving is this Lush Bubblegum Flavoured Lip Scrub. And it looks like this. And um, <coughs> basically it's a bubblegum lip scrub. And um, the reason why I love this is it smells really nice. It's not too harsh on your lips. It doesn't really over exfoliate. And it's just nice. What I do is I like to use this in the morning and at night as well. And I've been using it quite a lot. But although it's a small tub, it really lasts quite a long time. Um, I got the Lush Lip Scrub in a box and with a few other products. So if you want to see that video, I will link it here. And then you can go back and see what other products I got and what I thought about them. But the lip scrub was definitely my favourite. It's just a sugary lip scrub. Because I've only said about 10 times. The second product that I'm loving this month is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And I'm in the shade Golden Beige. And basically it looks like this. And it's just a really nice consistency it, um, it goes on quite well and it just really buffs into the skin well it leaves you matte and it really sets your makeup well I find that when I wear this my makeup stays on really long and the good handy thing about this is you twist it and I don't use the sponge but and it's got a mirror in there as well so yeah it wasn't too expensive either I am going to try and link all the products down below so if you are interested in the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder then I'll leave a link below yeah I really like it I basically got it because Miss Glamorazzi if you watch her videos she uses it and she recommended it so I thought I'd try it and actually I really like it it's not too harsh on the coverage side and it's just a really nice product. The third thing that I'm loving this month is probably one of my new favourite all-time lipsticks and it is the Rimmel by Kate collection and it's the colour number three which is, um, doesn't say what colour it is, it just says Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick and it looks like this in the tube. And I've shown this quite a lot. It's this and it looks like this basically. So it's a really nice, um, it's quite matte but there is a shine to it. Um, but I just like wearing it for work because it's quite easy to wear on the lips. It's not like this orange that I'm wearing right now which wouldn't be that appropriate for work. But this is just a really nice better than lips colour. So yes, that's that. My next favourite product are these Pirates Anti-Allergy Tablets. Now, I think this is like the most randomest thing I've ever put in a video, but I get really bad hair fever. And out of all the different tablets that I've tried, these are definitely the best ones that I've used. So I thought that they deserved a place in my June favourites. The next thing of my June favourites is this Berry M Lip Gloss. And it was a limited edition lip gloss and I'm not sure what the colour is. But basically it's this silvery clear lip gloss and I don't know whether you'll be able to even see it if I put it on. So it's just a shiny um, clear glittery lip gloss and I'll, I'll put it over this orange. Basically, it's just an overcoat which will enhance any lip colour that you put on. The next thing is, I don't know if I showed this in my last favourites, but I'm still loving it, is the number 7 um, Stay Perfect Nail Colour. And it's this clear with this um, multicoloured fleck glitter in it. And I just really like it because... I've got horrible nails, tiny little ones, so it's really nice just to pop over and it just makes nails look really good. And the next thing is my Rimmel The Falsies Volume Express Mascara and it basically looks like this. 
it's got a curved wand and you just apply it as so and it's really good at getting deep into your lashes it stays on for a very long time it's a very thick black colour I don't know whether this is waterproof I don't think it is but this is in the colour black drama and I'm really happy with this mascara I didn't like it at first but I really enjoyed using it this last month and I use it every day so far and the very last product on my June favourites is my new lipstick that I've just got from MAC not that long ago but I absolutely love it it's the politely pink lipstick by MAC and it's a luster and it basically looks like this in the tube and like this when you apply it's very similar to the other lipstick in my June favourites but this one's a tiny bit lighter and it's just got a little bit more colour. So if you have noticed, I've been absolutely loving the new products this month. I'm just really getting into the nude kind of look. I've been wearing a, a nude smoky eye and just generally just all new products. She says with the orange lipstick on, but I don't care because I've really been liking the bronze nude look this month and that's what all my products reflect. So I'm really sorry that this is quite a short video but I didn't have that many favourites because a lot of my favourites were the same favourites um, as like my normal products. So my Satsuma body scrub and my Satsuma body butter and the same Tresemme hair shampoo and the same body lotion by Imperial Leather. So I didn't want to include them because I included them last time. But I just want to thank you for watching. So thanks and please stick around, please like and subscribe and please comment on this video because I've been getting more video views but nobody seems to want to comment on the video so please just drop a comment. I reply to every single comment or I try to uh, reply to every single comment on my video and yeah I just please have a good and I'll see you later, bye.